Hey guys, this is Sophie Showhead. Welcome back to another video where today I'm gonna share with you my all time favorite lipsticks. And these are them. I've got six lipsticks. They kind of go from like quite quite inexpensive, this is like a bourgeois lipstick, right up to like really pricey, which is a Christian Louboutin lipstick. I'm gonna just show you the, my favorite colors to wear. And here's a little tip, like pretty much the colors are all the same. I don't know why, I don't know why. Anyway, look, let me get into it. So I'm gonna start with the color that I wear all the time. It is this, this is from MAC and it's in the color Faux. Now, whenever you see me wearing this, I don't just wear that on its own. I always use it with this lip pencil. This is from MAC as well, and it's called Saw. So I'm just gonna like show you what this looks like on. I've got nothing on my lips at the moment. And I must apologize if there is some background noise because my neighbor is sawing stuff in his garden. Okay, so with this lip pencil, I tend to like color the whole lip in. But that thing went bust. So I gave it up. That's the lip colour there, and I'm just gonna put this over the top. So you can see that there. I love this colour. I really like the feel of faux on the lip as well. If you wanna go more matte with this look, what I do is I've just got this. This is some translucent powder actually got lipstick in it because that's what I use this for but um I like take some on my finger and then I just like pat it over you can see it just gives like a way matte look but you've still got the hydration of the lipstick, so it's not like those lipsticks that like way dry out your lips. Right now, I'm gonna move on and just remove this. Before I do, the next lipstick I'm gonna show you, this is like one of my newest lipsticks, and I'm on the fence about it. Uh, it's from Gerard Cosmetics. It's one of their liquid lipsticks. Is that what it's called? Hydromat, and it's in the color Share. Like when I, I am denied about getting this. It's not that they're, they're not actually that expensive because they always seem to have promo codes. But um, so I bought two lipsticks and it cost me $20, which is about 15 pounds, which is really, really good in my opinion for two lipsticks. I think that's good. Uh, and I got this color. I also got Iced Mocha, which is not for me. It just makes me look dead. It's like way too dark brown and it's quite a cold, it's quite a cool brown as opposed to like a warm one. But this share colour is quite nice. I'll tell you why I'm on the fence about it in one second. So this is share, which I quite like. It's a lot, it's a little bit more brown than it actually looks in the tube. So you'll see what I mean about share. It's quite similar to faux with saw underneath it. It's I don't know, I just, I like the tone. I like the warmth of it. It's quite, um, it's like a, it's a neutral color for my skin tone. It just, I feel like it compliments me and I feel confident wearing it. The things that I'm not sure about with this lipstick is that it's starting to dry now and it really, really feels like the Sahara Desert, like when it's dried on your lips. It almost like, and it doesn't last very long either. It's like, I find that I, it kind of builds up around the edge of my mouth. It's like gross and I pretty much have to take it off and start it again. Like it, it just, I don't know, it just rubs off. It almost like rub, like cracks off or something. It gets so dry. So it's not very long lasting. And I feel that the lighting in here is making this color look a lot paler than it is. In natural daylight, it's kind of a lot deeper than it actually looks. It is really nice though. It is like a color that I'm wearing quite a lot at the moment, but I think it's the finish of it. It's the dryness of it that's making me like not be sure. Right, we're gonna move on. And, oh my God, the guy drilling. I've looked out the window. He's actually been quite noisy. I don't know who it is. He's kind of really annoying me though. Do you know what, where I used to live before, 
where I used to live before, before we moved. I never did find out who it was, but we had a really noisy neighbor who was always hammering and drilling stuff. Like it was always, it was always on the weekend, really early in the morning, or actually it got to a point where it was just throughout the day. And it's like we moved house and now it's like we've got another guy doing it. Next, I'm gonna show you the most expensive lipstick that I'm gonna show you out of what I've got, which is from Christian Louboutin, and it is in the color Zulu, which looks like this. It's like, it's quite a deep brown, and it's, with the other colors that I've showed you, they're, they're brown, but they've got a hint of mauve, like a pinky mauve to them. This is totally not like it, and I actually don't like this color on its own. On its own, it's a little bit too muddy for my skin tone and I feel that it kind of washes my face out and makes me look a bit dead. So I use the lip pencil in the saw colour because it's got a pinkiness to it and it just picks this colour up. And what, if you want to see what this colour looks like, by the way, if you want to see all the Christian Louboutin lipsticks I've got, I'll link to the video below. But um, in that video, I'm wearing this colour on its own. And I just felt like it was just too brown. And then I, after the video, when I watched it back, I was like, I really don't like that colour. But then when I used this pencil, I was like, yes, now I like it. So I'm going to show you how this looks. It was a crush. Now I might wanna set to... Okay, so I've got saw on. Now I'm going to put this over the top. So yeah, so that is the colour Zulu. For anyone who is looking to buy one of these lipsticks, I, re I actually really recommend them. I was fortunate enough to have got some for my birthday and then a couple for Christmas. And I've got the, cause you, there are like three different finishes. There's the matte version, there's like a, um, a silky satin version and then there's um, like a sheer. And I've got one of all three. I really love the matte colors. They are, they are true mattes, like they are, but it's weird, they're not drying. I don't find them to be drying at all. And I find that the color is really, really, really pigmented. You put on a layer and you, I really don't need to top it up that often. That's one thing I really noticed with this. Like once I've put it on, it's like on, but equally, even with the reds, they don't leave a stain when I remove them. So I, I actually really, really recommend those. And I do like this color. I do wear it quite a lot, but as I say, I always wear it with, the sore lip liner underneath just to give it like a bit of warmth. Now I'm gonna move on to another lipstick. This is from Bourjois. This is one of the Rouge Edition Velvet lipsticks. It's like a matte and it kind of comes in this applicator here with a little um, kind of lip applicator on the end. Uh, and I have got the color 07 Nudist. Now with this brand, I some of the things I really like, like I really, I actually quite like their blushes but I've tried to get into their bronzers, their eyeshadows. Every so often I try and get into drugstore and in a lot of instances, and this is my opinion, but in a lot of instances, I think that drugstore is borderline false economy because whenever I've bought, like I've got a sleek eye makeup palette. I don't even know where it is. I used it once and it was awful. What I mean is the pigment, the pigments are normally not as concentrated as high-end makeup so you end up using more of it yeah it might be cheaper but you have to use more of it and i always find that like with the lipsticks from these guys i find that they just don't stay on the lip very very long and they kind of like wear off they like the, the matte ones crack off this does a little bit like it does kind of like start wearing off but i was given this and i love the color and the only down thing that i can say about it as i mentioned is that when you put it on, doesn't last. I'm gonna stop talking and just get on with this. Okay, so that's the base on. I was contemplating showing you these without a, a lip liner base, but then that wouldn't be true to how I wear it because I always wear every lips, all of these lipsticks, I always wear them with the same lip liner base. What do you think? It's quite pretty, isn't it? It's like quite a, it's quite, it's probably more pinky than any of the other colors I'm gonna show you. And it is really, really pretty. I do like it. I love the way it feels when I've just applied it. It feels really satiny, silky, but it kind of looks matte. And the, the coverage isn't amazing. Um, 
it's not as pigmented like if whenever I've tried to put this on a bare lip with no no lip liner it's a little bit sheer for me like if you prefer a full looking lip that's probably not for you but it's quite a nice color also with that one I forgot to mention it like it kind of stains it's really hard to get off um, thankfully it's like a palish color Right, we're gonna move on now to the next one. This is from NARS. This is one of those NARS audacious lip colors. And it is, do they call it matte? I don't know. It's kind of like, it kind of is, it's like borderline. Um, again, I always wear this with the same lip pencil. I swear you guys are gonna be like, every lip color looks the same, but I did tell you. But they're really nice, they're all kind of it's really hard as well because the light kind of makes them look quite washed out. Right, these audacious lip colours are incredible. I love the way they feel on the lip, but the pigment is so strong. Like, you you, I, you hardly need to use any of this, and it really does last. So this is in the colour Anna. They're all, like, named after different, like, ladies' names. And as you can kind of see, it's a, this is probably quite close to faux. Let me just check that. The only difference is I think faux is probably a bit more brown. Yeah, it is a bit. But it's quite, this lip, lipstick is quite a mauve colour. It's quite, it's almost like a, a rose brownie mauve. It's really, really pretty. It's really hydrating, but it doesn't look shiny on the lip at all. I'll tell you what, this feels so comfortable on. It just feels so, just feels really nice, like and hydrating. Now onto the last one. This is a Chanel lipstick. This is one of those Rouge Allure Velvet lipsticks. My grandma got me this, and I love the colour. It's in the colour number thirty-four, uh, La Raffinée and it looks like this okay i've used this so, so much it's probably out of all of the colors that i've shown this is more red than anything and it's it's like a true matte so out of like all of the lipsticks i've shown that have been true matte colors so the gerard cosmetics the christian louboutin the what else i would say they're like the main two really 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 matte ones this is like in the same class, the same category, like really, really matte, but it's not drying, I can't describe it. So I'm gonna do as I always do and fill in my lip. And also on these lipsticks, I don't know if you can see, but there's like an inscription where it has Chanel written on them. They're, they're really nice. Just going to show you some swatches guys in natural daylight so from left to right we've got bourgeois chanel nars mac gerald cosmetics and the christian louboutin lipstick is the closest to my bracelet there so they are my all-time favorite lipsticks and as i mentioned nine times out of ten i'm wearing this this is the faux lipstick from mac and i always Pretty much always, guys. I always just wear that lip liner from MAC in the colour Saw. Now, in the comments box below, guys, I'm going to write the names of all of the lipsticks. So, if you want to know what's what, go and check that out. And that is it. Come and join me in the next video. There's going to be a link that's going to be there. Click on that and I'll see you in a moment.